Hi, my lovely people. Uh, today I'm so happy. But before I get to tell you why I'm happy, let me pass my regards to you. Good morning to those who are waking up. Good afternoon to those who are in their countries and there it's afternoon and good evening to those who have retired to their day. So guys, today I'm so happy. Despite me being happy, it looks as if you're in winter. And this is why I'm bringing you this amazing topic. So guys, last year, 2020, I did a video of recap, my 2020 recap video. And in that video, if you go and check it out, you will find that I spoke a lot of things that gave me a heartbreak. That's number one. Number two, I went to a depression. Number three, it had everything in it. The mixing, the feeling, the emotions, the feelings and everything in it, it was just a mix up of everything. But you know what? I never gave up on it. I said that video is going to be my stepping stone. It's going to remind me where I've come from. And today, guys, I've decided to do a similar video of Recap 2021, which is from January until where we are. Guys, we're in mid-year. The year is running so fast. So, guys, without wasting much time, let's jump back to the same same video and we do as we do this one. So in 2020. First 2020, let me pull you back. We're in 2019. 2019 December, we went to Tanzania to have fun in, with my family, me and my husband and our friends. We had so much fun, which you have seen in that video. And if you have not seen, I'm going to put a link somewhere here. Yes. We had so much fun. It was so much fun. And we were looking forward to a better 2020 of which things didn't happen the way they were supposed to happen. So in 2020, when we came in January, we had planned so many things. You know, the new year resolution, I'm going to travel to Uganda, I'm going to travel to USA. I will do this and that. I will buy a car, I'll buy myself a new phone, I will buy gifts for my family, I will build, I will buy everything. You only think of buying and improving your lifestyle. So that's the resolution I had for my 2020 but it didn't happen that. So in 2020, I had so much of um, <clears throat> stress. 2020 gave me so much of, I was not even thinking, I was not focusing. In fact, I lost, I lost so much weight. And for 2021, it's a positive, it's a plus. So my 2020, I started my year with trips, but come to my 2021, I just decided to stick around because 2020 had shown me that once you plan for something and it doesn't work, then you don't have anything to lose. You know, you can still create your happiness around it and still have the best. So 2021, New Year, let's go to 2020 Christmas. We were here in our house, me and my husband and the kids. We had a family uh, Christmas. We sticked around and we had to sit and draw another way, have a new vision of things you know so we decided we we're going to stay home and think ahead of what we want in our 2021 so we were here in come 2021 first january still we were here home at home we didn't have much to to do because we just wanted to have that our time a family time that we never had before you know so we just stayed around prepared our delicious meal if you have checked the grilled uh, meat somewhere yeah we stuck around, we did our own thing, and it was so fun, guys. There was no stress in it. So we enjoyed it. Uh, come number two, in 2020, we had a business, and you all know what happened to my business. So this, is, I'm not going to repeat about it. So the business that we had, and the business ideas we had to expand our territories of our, of our business and going uh, visiting other countries also to see what you're going to do for our business, that happened in 2020 that things went away and we never did that. So 2021, we still sat down. We have not decided to start any other business, but we thank God, at least now, we have something else that we are doing. Uh, something that I'm going to tell you later on when it materializes. I'm not going to tell you right now, but we are doing something that is bringing in capital. You see, we at least 2020, we had a business and we lost it. We lost it in 2020, uh, January 17, but come this year, by February, we started something great. God saw us through and we are starting something good. A business that we are going to share with you guys later on. 
as we move on with life you know at the same time if you can remember when we said in our business i was the person who was managing it and in that business it was all that i had because i was not employed so guys this year god also gave me something that i could call a place to go to work and get at least uh some cash come in so guys i got some i got employed and the good thing is we are told never burn bridges guys never burn bridges if you're employed somewhere and you feel that you don't want to continue staying in that place don't start insulting people don't start being rude or not even working perfectly like the way you've been working before take your time work until the time you feel or the period you feel that you're done with this place you understand just finish your time there give a notice tell them in the next one month i'll be working here but after one month i will be gone i want to go somewhere and start and look for a greener pastures you know it's always going to be truth to speak the truth even if you're not going to tell them what you're going to do at least be honest in case of something in case shit happen guys you can go back to the same employer sit him down and tell him you know what i thought this and this will work but it has not worked and i don't have anywhere to go can you kindly give me back a post or even give me a a position that is even lesser you know you don't go there and say you know i was working here now i want to give me a position of a manager or something. no just humble yourself go back and tell them give me a post even if it's for a messenger or whatever you want as long as they know your academic qualifications they're going to set you somewhere so i was so thankful my boss called me back and they gave me a job back so guys i'm even happier that the post that they gave me at least i'm interacting and learning a lot from different people because i get to meet so many people in a day so that's one thing another thing is 2021 i lost so many friends guys you know that the stress that or oh, when you say that uh, when you have money when you have it all you have so many people so many people want to hang around with you even your family members want to be there with you and have fun but once you lose something you don't have cash flow anymore you don't have money friends tend to lose you they find that you're not valuable anymore because they're scared of you one borrowing them money two always you're going to spend on them you know you understand and three even for some family people will think that now that you don't have a job you're going to be a nuisance to them and they will start dodging you quarreling you if you try to ask for help they even blue tick or even they don't talk to you completely so guys that happened to me in 2020 i lost so many friends the friends that i thought they're my friends in fact they just left me only a few who know me and who i have helped before stuck with me but the rest who left me god didn't leave me i had i i just gave myself to god and said god you know what whatever i'm going through right now let it be a stepping stone for next year and this next year it was 2021 so this year as the look as the friends who thought that i'm not becoming a, a beggar and uh, pauline has no value anymore she can't dress or do anything variable we can't hang around now god gave me friends who think more wiser you see people you can sit down with and exchange mind when i speak about mind mind of business that's one financial mind number two number three how to acquire your own properties and if you look at these people there are people you can sit down with them and speak sense you sit down and speak sense people show you how you want to be in the future not people who are showing you how we are going to enjoy in a certain club or in a certain uh, county or in a certain country to just go and have fun it's not bad to, to do uh activities or trips together with your friends but at least now you have people who are showing you to invest in what you have 2020 you didn't have 2021 you have so guys i wouldn't love to go back to where i was with no investments with no savings with no nothing so here i am in 2021 at least i'm investing and i'm saving and have reasonable friends you know yeah so Point number four was losses. If you come to realize, in 2020, I made so many losses. One, 
The biggest loss I've ever had in 2020, it was I lost my business. In fact, not one, not two, and not three businesses. Guys, you only know of one business. No, you only know of two businesses that I lost, but I also lost cash on the third business that I'm not going to disclose now. Maybe it's a video for another day. Yes, it's a whole story for another day. Three businesses in one year. You have spent money, you have spent energy, and also you have, you've sat down with so many people to strategize this business, but you have lost it all. Not because you're a weakling or not because you don't have ideas, but the things that you went through. So 2021 is here. Guys, I have no losses. That's number one. Number two, I have achieved a lot. I have investments that I can say for sure 2020 was a stepping stone and not this year I'm going to achieve what God had planned for me. Okay, we always say if something happens to you, God has a reason to why it happened. Maybe, who knows, God punished me last year because of COVID, you know. Right now, if you check, guys, if you look everywhere you are, look at the market right now. All the people who have restaurants, are they having anything? I'm not happy that they're not. Uh, I'm not happy that they're not achieving. But I feel for them because I was there. I know the struggles of having a restaurant for a business. And once there is no cash flow, or once there is no, there are no clients coming in, people not eating your food. That food will go bad, definitely. So how are you going to feel when you lose a whole sack of potatoes, a whole lot of sausages, chicken, and everything? These things have slept and you can sell to them the next day. The clients will start telling you, oh, you know, your, your chicken is not fresh or oh, the sausages you sold me yesterday, yesterday are not fresh. Potatoes themselves, they can't sleep. I mean, they can't see another night, you know. Once cooked, they're cooked. So serve someone and they tell you your food is, your food is not fresh. And another thing, that's food poison. You know that it will cost a life and if not life, it will cause someone's health so guys in 2020 that was my stepping stone i felt bad when i lost that business but this year i'm thanking god and saying god you had a reason and purpose to why you brought you took away that business from me maybe right now i could be struggling maybe right now i could be in big depths you know I could be having debt from each and every person. Right now, maybe even I could be having so many enemies who are even targeting me or even who are tracking me so that they can, they can eliminate me because that business needs a lot of finance. That business needs a lot of you. You personally to be there. So I thank God for this year because whatever I lost last year, at least I'm coming back to what I lost last year. I'm coming back to more of it. I've added, if I lost one shilling last year, at least this year I've added another shilling. So I have two shillings, of which to me it's an achievement. It's not loss. You understand? Another thing, guys, uh, last year I, I, will, I had so much in my mind. I was thinking so much. Uh, maybe the place I was saying, it had so much memories. Guys, right now you tell me to go back to Kawangware, I wouldn't even go there. In, even if it's business-wise, I know the market is so good, but I wouldn't like to go back because it has for me memories, both good and bad memories. Let me ask you, if you had a bad memory of a certain place or a certain thing i know one thing you're not going to keep it you're going to let it go number two you won't stay in the place where you have bad memories so for me losing my business staying in kawangware was a bad memory every day i passed that road i was passing that road going for my shopping errands or anywhere i wanted to go i would pass through that place and to me it was just giving me another type of feeling that I never understood. So I just felt that I need to leave only for me to realize you are not stuck. You are not supposed to stick or to be stagnant in one place. You can move to another place and God opens for you doors to do more greater things. Thank you to the current technology that is there. You can work online. You can do business online. You can do each and everything. Watch, communicate with your friends do all sort, sort of question and everything online you know before we thought if you leave this place you're not going to achieve 
but this year you come from point a you come to point point b and that's when you achieve more of what even you didn't know so 2020 to me it was a stepping stone guys i struggled a lot when it comes to family issues i struggled we tried to make our family the best so we stuck on each other even if we lacked still we had to encourage each other so if my husband is moody i need to lift up my spirit so that i can encourage him i can encourage him if he is okay and sobery i'm not okay my mental health is telling me pauline you know what you need to do this you need to shout and scream he gave me the leeway go out there scream shout do whatever you want at least i want to see you fine so i had someone who was there in 2020 who had better dreams for me but this time around it's me who is so depressed you know he is also depressed so we had to stick together and encourage each other for a better 2020. one word that i will never forget maybe 2020 i would always say uh, i would tell my husband babe you know what uh we had sugar but now it has finished uh don't worry maybe we don't have money to buy even a quarter imagine a quarter packet of sugar we didn't have money and i would tell him don't worry whatever we are going through right now it's a stepping stone to a better tomorrow and guys i kept saying that 2020 was a stepping stone for me come january 2021 i was saying babe whatever we are going through it is a stepping stone for a better tomorrow i was so much sure that 2021 is going to be a good year for us I kept telling him that remember 2021 is a good year for us so 2021 was here guys and maybe uh our clients my husband's clients they all you know when it comes to january and february their job their clients uh tend to pull back a little maybe to settle for the year so they will resume their training in march so march is when the clients are resuming so january and february we have no one to ask for financial help so it forced me to wake up and go out and look for that job guys remember this is a family not for only one person we are two and we have kids so we have to help each other i kept telling myself even if i lack today i know three months four months coming i'm going to achieve my level best i'm going to have a job come what me even if it's sweeping even if it's cleaning I will look for that job i'll just hold myself because i said 2020 is my stepping stone 2021 is my achievement year currently guys i'm so happy i've not achieved all that i wanted to achieve last year i'm still looking forward to more door opening you know guys i'm so open-minded to meet all people who wish me well definitely i'm looking forward to meet people who will build me who will build us if i build you you will build me i was so thankful i met lynn googi and i got exposed to so many people have managed to speak to so many people in fact i never knew my problems were similar to another person i thought the problems that i'm going through it's only me who is going through and i didn't want to ask god why you know you don't ask god why am i going through this thing so i came to realize the same problem I go through, another person has a similar problem like mine. The only difference is maybe they have their financial way of tackling that. Maybe I don't have the financial way. Their way of handling things is not the way I could handle my thing. But who is God? God gave me a platform. This platform where I have people I can tell them about endometriosis. So many people like 20 have come to me telling me, you know what, Pauline, whatever you spoke about endometriosis, that is me. I have the same feeling i'm undergoing the same pain my marriage is at break reason is because of this endo thing because of um i didn't know what to tell my husband i didn't know how that me and my husband could sit down and resolve issues amicably when no one has stress you see i didn't know all that but this year that platform came i have managed to change so many people's life guys I also want to bring so many people who have undergone cysts so many people have suffered through uh, fibroids and even 
bigger people who have undergone the challenges of endometriosis and they have succeeded. That's my goal this year, to bring awareness to people and also to try and bring people who have suffered like us. Maybe you have gone through some problems in our life that you feel that you don't need to share with the whole world to know or you don't want to share with your family, friends or anyone but you feel that problem is so huge to you. Wait until you expose that problem. Someone else will tell you, you know what? I went through the same thing you're going through now. And if you do one, two, three, that problem is sorted. How easy is that? It's good to share. So you should not share your things with people who never wish you well. Only share your problems, share your things, happiness. You know, if you have a party, share it with your friends that wish you well. People who are there for you, people who support you, they will be so happy to see this. So guys, my January to now, wherever we are today, guys, it's just a thanksgiving because God has shown me the way. God has opened the doors for me. So my 2020 still remains my stepping stone. I'm still referring back to 2020, whatever happened in 2020. If I lacked salt, I still say 2020 I lacked salt. At least this year, I can afford to get a half kg of salt or a quarter kg of salt. If last year I wasn't able to pay my transport from here to town, at least this year, I'm able to pay my transport from here, not only went to town, even to another county. You understand? I'm feeling it good in my heart. It's always good to share with people your experiences in life that may change someone else's life somewhere. You never know. So many people are watching me right now. I know that. But they're not speaking. But deep down in their heart, they're saying, oh my God, maybe this lady saw me. Why is she speaking as if she's talking to me? You see, like, why is she talking as if she's referring to me? I'm not referring to anyone. But your conscience tells you, yes, I am also, I'm also going through this same mistake that I did. Guys, there's one thing I want to tell you. 2020, I'd planned to take my husband for a birthday a surprise in Dubai. Okay, it wouldn't be a surprise as much uh, like... I would inform him about the documents and the, vis the, the visas and everything to go to Dubai, but it would have made an impact of me giving him that ticket to go to Dubai and have fun as a family. So I was not able to do that. So his birthday, we just stayed around. So this year, I'm planning something good for him, something that he's going to remember something that he will hold in his life and say you know what even in the next life i would like to have such a birthday gift yeah that's it last christmas we stayed around in the house i've told you guys as we were beginning that we never went anywhere for christmas we stayed around so this year i have got a plan all i ask god is to give me good help give me chance in life and also make me see each and every day of this year because guys uh, this year i'm feeling it's a year of thanksgiving i had a bad life last year i feel so bad about it but i'll still hold it strong because it's my stepping stone here so don't give up just hold on you know hold on take it easy breathe in breathe out if you're married Sit down, you and your partner, and talk about it. If you're dating, just sit down, you and your partner. Hold each other, hug. Cry if you want to cry, you know? As long as you're in your partner's hands, just cry. Release the tension in you. Make him feel what is in your heart. And let him do the same to you. Comfort him. Speak good words, you know? Claim it. This year is a year of claiming. Claim it. Say, you know, this year, even if you won't go to Dubai, we will go to Tanzania. Even if we won't go to Tanzania, we will go to Naivasha. You have been in Nairobi for so ever. You never even know the, the route to going Naivasha, to Naivasha, or to Trukana, or even to Meru. You don't know. Say, this year, I want to travel. Come December, that festive season, I have to make a difference. You know, I have to achieve my goals. I want to have a business. I want to have a good family or I want to restore back my relationship with my boyfriend or my husband. I want to change my thinking. 
so i'm so open guys if you think i need to learn anything from you share it with me if you feel that you want to come out to people through my channel and tell people something guys i'm so much open i'm not going to say my channel is mine and for my family my channel is for me and my husband no if you feel you want to speak out you want to encourage someone somewhere come along just get me on my ig my ig name is sony one that's my ig we will connect from there or my facebook pauline Raphael. we will connect and i'll give you the platform the platform to encourage people and talk to them so guys my 2021 is becoming a better one my 2020 it was a stepping stone so guys i don't have much to add on this but to just wait and hear from you so what do you think let's wait bye